Hi gang, Sparky here. In episode 634 of the Mac Power Users, we dove deep on the iPhone camera. You can check it out at relay.fm slash MPU. Uh, during the show, we talked about the problem of these HEIC photos. Uh, generally, it's not a problem, but sometimes you need to upload them and they're in HEIC and the web or whatever wants a JPEG. So I created a little quick action here to do the conversion for you. The place I usually run into this is when I airdrop a photo, it doesn't convert it for me. Uh, and I've got this cute little picture here of my dog. We were playing carrot and she got tired and she just went and sat in her thing. This is a portrait mode photo. It kind of focused on the carrot, not her eye, which isn't exactly right, but still pretty cool. And I like this image, but it's H-E-I-C. So I made a shortcut. I'm gonna put a link to this shortcut on YouTube so you can just download it and use it yourself. We'll also have this in the show notes for episode 634, but either way, here it is. Uh, all I'm going to do, it's going to receive an action, and you do this by using it as a quick action. Now it's going to receive images only, and it's going to convert the shortcut input, input which will be the image, to JPEG. Uh, if I click show more, I can uh, adjust the quality if I want. I can preserve metadata. Since a lot of times I convert these to put them online somewhere, I don't check that box. So we don't have to preserve metadata, you get rid of all that stuff. And then we save the converted image to the desktop. Again, if I want, I can have it ask me where to save it, but I just wanna put it on the desktop. So that's all I need to do. It's a two action shortcut with an input. Uh, all I have to do now to run it is right click on this thing. So I'll just go ahead and right click on this image. Go down to quick actions and you can see there it is, convert image to JPEG. After you install it, this may not show up. If it doesn't, you just have to hit the customize button and go down and find it and click it and move it up to the top so it shows up. Uh, but either way, it's there for me now. I'll go ahead and hit quick actions, convert image to JPEG. And now it's doing it in the background. You can see there's two images in my stack. There's the original HEIC and there is that same cute picture now saved as a JPEG. So this is a really easy way to convert them really quickly. This will work on single images or multiple images. Just select them, run the quick action, and you're done. And hey, if you really like this, you should check out the Max Sparky Labs. That's my uh, members supported group where I share experiments and automation and cool tricks like this all the time. I'd love to have you there. Either way, go check out Mac Power Users episode 634 and get better at taking pictures today. Thanks.